everybody. Uh, mosaics are awesome and they're very historical, uh, but the meaning has changed over time. So, um, so when you say what is a mosaic, it's kind of a loaded question. Um, thousands and thousands of years ago, mosaics were mostly floors and ceilings, and they would have these teeny tiny little pieces of stone um, and rock, and they would come from all over the place. So you'd get rocks by this certain lake, and they were kind of yellowy, and you'd get rocks from um, this town over here, and they were kind of bluish gray, and then some of them were even um, painted or um, kind of stained so that they had brighter colors, but uh, then they were kind of cemented into the floor and they were put into a design. Um, as you see here, we have different colors, but if you look closely, there's all these teeny tiny little pieces of rocks and stones. Uh, and for a long time, that's what mosaics were. And um, even now, they still do that. So a lot of places you find um, glass or stone tiles into a picture kind of like this one. These are mostly glass, but some of them, the white is um, rocks. And um, in the mountains, there's some stones too, kind of mixed in with glass. And that is also mosaic. Um, if you think of stained glass windows, those are kind of a glass mosaic. Um, so it's an image that it's made, the whole image itself is made up of tiny, tiny little pieces of things that were combined to make the picture. In more recent times, artists have um, used that strategy of taking small pieces, combining them to make bigger images. Um, one very common one um, is collage. So this is magazines and paper, and collage really came from the history of mosaics. And um, so collage artists in the early 20th century um, started kind of playing with that idea of using more readily available materials like paper to, um, to make paper mosaics. And then more recently, um, a lot of mosaics are being made out of like recycled materials. So this one is all different colors of bottle caps. So we have blue, probably like Pepsi and milk bottles. Um, and then uh, yellow ones, probably other kind of soda bottles, the clear white ones, probably water bottles. And they're all combined to make this image. We still can use glass and stones. And this is an image actually of students um, making mosaics on top of wood and cutting the pieces of glass to kind of fit into this image. And um, we can still do that. Like in our school, we have the kind of some of this, oh, some of the supplies. I don't know what's going on. Um, some of the supplies to do that. So for this project, though, you're going to be doing a digital mosaic. And these are very um, kind of trendy right now. Last spring when lots of schools shut down, a lot of teachers um, had to still teach the idea behind mosaics, but um, a lot of kids didn't have material. So Google Drawings became um, really popular. And you can see up in this top corner, the squirrel and the duck. This is one of the very first um, digital mosaics that kind of went out online for art teachers to give ideas to other art teachers. And these other two I made um, during a class where I learned how to do these. Um, so digital mosaics, the same idea. You have lots of little shapes that fit together to make a picture. So what is a mosaic? It's a picture made out of a lot of small, tiny little things. And, um, and so that's what you're going to make.